In this video, I'm going to be talking about my Orazio low noise oilless 24 litre compressor, as I've had a few messages asking about it. This got shipped to me in a Katsu box, so I guess these machines are also branded as Katsu, and the model number is 241184. I paid £110, which is about $140 for it via Amazon, and I'll leave a link for it in the description box below if you want to check it out. First I'll talk about what I like about it, and that is how little noise this thing makes. The compressor I owned before this was a Stanley 24 litre compressor and it was incredibly loud. I live in a residential area so I don't want to be a disturbance to people and it was simply too loud for me to feel comfortable using it, even during the day. There was one time I accidentally left it switched on when I left the workshop and it decided to fire up in the middle of the night and I could hear it while I was in bed through double glazed windows so it had to go. The Orazio or Katsu is rated at 65 decibels which is not loud at all. It's actually quite a bit quieter than a cordless drill, which is about 75 to 80 decibels. A whispered voice is about 30 decibels. Decibels are pretty confusing though, for example 88 decibels is actually twice as loud as 85 decibels. And I'm not going to pretend I understand all that, but let's just say, as a real world example, you could comfortably use this compressor inside your house without disturbing your neighbours, and you certainly wouldn't need a pair of air defenders while using it. Now on to what I dislike about it, and I have to say the build quality of this machine is poor. I had a number of problems with mine, and before I go into it I just want to say that I don't know a great deal about air compressors. I'm a woodworker so I just bought one to fire nails, staples and blow air occasionally. I don't know what the components on these machines are called, but I'll do my best to explain. Firstly there was a problem with the outlet. Every time I powered up the air compressor I'd wait for it to fill up with air and then when it finished the hose would come off and that would happen about 90% of the time. Really annoying, especially for my personal situation where my compressor is outside of the workshop in my shed extension, so each time it happened I needed to unlock the extension, put the hose back in, lock it up again and then I could use it. I resolved this issue by buying and installing a new fitting. I got it on Amazon and I'll link to that in the description box below too. This is called a Euro Airline Hose Connector, quarter inch BSP female. Catchy name. And I got two of them for £6, I only needed one. Not an expensive upgrade and it has completely resolved the issue with the hose coming off which is great. The second issue, this switch which controls the airflow into the hose is just awful. It leaks air when it's switched to the on position, and I've tried tightening up this nut but that hasn't solved the issue. The switch is also really flimsy and poor quality. Ideally I want to replace this whole section but there are two issues with that. First, I don't know what to buy to replace it because I don't know what this part is called. If anyone could let me know in the comments I'd really appreciate it. Secondly, I spent some time trying to get it off thinking that I could then take it to a pneumatic specialist shop and just say I need one of these but I can't seem to get at it properly with a spanner to get it off. Thirdly, the outlet at the bottom which is used to empty out the water in the tank is this brass fitting here. Don't know what this is called either but I use a pair of plumbing pliers to loosen it off to empty the water and then tighten it up again. It would have been much more useful if this had a handle so that you could empty the water without having to use a tool. The brass fitting also had some sort of corrosion on it from new out of the box and the threads don't feel like they engage particularly reliably when you tighten and untighten it. It wasn't until I checked my B-roll footage that I've actually got a fourth issue with the compressor because this pressure gauge no longer works. It used to work fine so I'm not sure when that died. You can just tell that this machine has been made at a very low price point. There are lots of sharp edges, cheap plasticky bits, the wheels are plastic too, originally I didn't even get any wheels in the box so I had to write to the supplier, a company called AIM Tools, but to be fair they sent me the wheels very quickly and they were very helpful. Now aside from all those issues, the performance side of things has been absolutely fine. It works great with my brad nailer and my stapler and it blows air off things perfectly well enough. I haven't used it for anything more than that and I haven't noticed any difference in performance between this and the Stanley that I had previously either. So in summary, the low noise is great, the performance is fine, the build quality is poor, 
but when you're spending just over £100 for a low noise oilless air compressor I think you almost expect to have a few issues with it. So I wouldn't say I was pleased with it but I wouldn't say I was desperately unhappy with it either because if I can fix the problems with it just by replacing the fittings with higher quality ones then it actually works out to be a decent deal. Also it's possible that I was just unlucky enough to get a bad example of one of these machines. So if you want something that is going to work great straight out of the box then maybe you'll have better luck than I did with mine but I wouldn't bank on it. I hope that this video was useful to you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more weekly woodworking videos and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.